Hello, my name is Marcelo Freitas, I am from Brazil and this is a series of video in which I will try to explain the preservation of the precise wording of the original text of the New Testament using the line of transmission or the flow of transmission of Family 35. In this video I want to explain what Greek text is used to make the different Bible translations that we have on market. To do it, we need to make a basic division. What division it is? Textual criticism work with some evidence in their study. They work with quotes of church father, they work with ancient versions, they work with lectionary manuscripts, they work with continued text manuscripts. If you don't know those meanings, that's okay. We will do in a specific videos and we will explain those definitions. In this video, I want to make clear that manuscript, it is something written by hand. Manuscript written by hand. But even though manuscript, it is something written by hand, textual criticism only call manuscripts, the lectionary manuscripts and the continued text manuscripts. So when we say that we have over 5,000 Greek manuscripts of the New Testament, we are only talking about the lectionary manuscripts and the continued text manuscripts. But for doing this basic division, we are only talking about the continued text manuscripts and we only have around 3,000 Greek continued text manuscripts. So we have around 3,000 manuscripts for doing this division. So we have around 3,000 manuscripts that I use to make this initial division. What initial division it is? In one side we have like 90% of the manuscripts. There are the manuscripts from the Byzantine book. On the other side, we have one or maybe 2% of the manuscripts. There are the manuscripts from Egypt, those Alexandria manuscripts. So in one side, we have 90% of the manuscripts. There is the Byzantine book or the Byzantine tradition as Dr. Pickering started to call. And on the other side, we have one or maybe two percent of the Greek manuscripts. There are the manuscripts from the A Egypt, the Alexandrian manuscripts. Yeah, 100 minus 90 percent minus one or two percent. Yeah, we are missing eight percent. Those eight percent are less important manuscripts. They are random manuscripts. They are not considered for this purpose. They are not used to do this first division. They are not used for this purpose. The graphic that is shown now on your screen, it's a graphic that is, is a graphic that shows the printed Greek text that is used by the editors. And below, we have the English versions that are the result of the translations of the Bible that are on market. And even though we are talking about Bibles, we are telling different versions of Bibles, here we are only talking about the New Testament. As it is the only testament, it is the only part of the Bible that was written in Greek. So in 100% we have the Wilbur Pickering text. We have the Family 35 text. This is the original text. The farthest that we have from Dr. Pickering's printed text is Westcott and Hoare text. That text is 90% on the graphic. So the precise wording of the New Testament text is in 100% and the farthest Greek text that we have from the original text is in 90% that is Westcott and Hoare text. What does it mean? It means that in a universe of 140,000 Greek words, we didn't count, that is an estimate, an approach, the most different text will differ in 14,000 Greek words. So back to the graphic. 100% is Wilbur Pickering text. Dr. Pickering identified on Family 35 the precise wording of the New Testament text. So the text Wilbur Pickering, the text Family 35 is in 100%. There is a translation 
of this New Testament Greek text under the title The Sovereign Creator Has Spoken. In 99.8% in the graphic, we have the majority text of Hodges and Farstead and the text of Robinson Pierpont. Those texts are not the same, but they are almost the same. They are virtually the same. So they are in the same percentual in the graphic. They are in 99.8%. We have the English majority text version. That is a version that used this text, this Greek text, to make the translation. It is the EMTV. So if you have a Greek text that is from Rogers in, Far in Farstead or Robinson Pierpont, this text it is 99.8% equals family 35 or 0.2% different. In 98% in the graphic, we have the Receptus text. This text was used in the Protestant Reformation. So it is the received text or Testus Receptus. So any Bible that used the received text, it is 98% equals family 35. So 2% difference. For instance, we have the King James Version or the New King James Version. This version of Bible uses this text, the Receptus text, for doing their New Testament translations. So these are the main versions of English Bible that use the Byzantine book in their manuscripts. That, those manuscripts that correspond to 90% of the manuscripts. Now we are going to talk about those one or maybe two percent of manuscripts of continued text. There are the Alexandrian manuscripts, those manuscripts from Egypt. So in 92 percent in the graphic we have the critical or the eclectical text. There is from Nassau Island or United Bible Society. Nassau Island and United Bible Society, they unified their text. So today they have the same text. It is in 92% in the graphic. What are the English versions that use the critical or the eclectical text to make their translations? We have the main Bibles, we have the main versions of Bibles that are on market. We have the New International Version, the famous NIV. We have the New American Standard Bible, there is the NASB. We have the New Living Translation, there is the NLT. And others that are shown, that are appearing in your screen now. This Greek text differs 8% from the Family 35, so it is 92% equal. There is another text that is Westcott and Hort is in 90% on the graphic. This text lost its importance because only Jehovah Witnesses use this text. But we have the English Revised Version, there is the ERV, and we have the ASV, there is the American Standard Version. So the, those versions, they lost its importance because only Jehovah Witnesses use those Bibles. And we have to make clear here that we are not evaluating the work of the translator. We are only talking about the Greek text that the translator had in his hand to make his work, to make his translation. So we are not talking about the translation, the work that he did. We are only talking about the Greek text that he was doing while he was making his translation. So if you're interested in the Family 35's text, if you're interested in Dr. Pickering's work, those are 100% free. You can just download in the site www.walkjustasshewalked.com or in Dr. Pickering's sites www.pranch.com.br. 
If you want to buy Dr. Pickering's book, there is no problem. Also, Amazon sells all his books, so you can just go to Amazon.com or Amazon.com.br that sell his books. So we are here to make his work simple and didactic. If you like this, you can ask questions. If something was not clear, you may just ask your questions. You may use this channel to talk to us. Dr. Pickering is watching. He is my friend. I can bring your question to him to clarify this work. Thank you very much.